Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope, coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And, friend, there's just not a better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious Word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word. Turn with me, if you will, over to the book of Proverbs. Today we'll be in Proverbs chapter 13. I want us to look at verse number 10 as our text verse of Scripture. Go ahead and get that good, fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have a wonderful encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, goodness, what better way to start a brand new day? Fresh coffee and a fresh word from God. A friend over to the book of Proverbs chapter 13, verse 10, the Bible says, Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. And I will uh, pray today that God would certainly add his blessings to the reading of his precious word. Well, friend, today I want to bring to you a devotion that I've titled The Importance of Humility. The Importance of Humility. Only pride cometh contention. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. Friend, where there's strife, there's pride. But wisdom is found in those who's willing to take advice. Through insolence or rudeness comes nothing but strife, but wisdom is with those who receive counsel. My friend, when you think of humble people, what image comes into your mind? That's a pretty good question, isn't it? What characteristics and attitude, or attitudes, plural, contribute to humility? We often hold misconceptions about humility. Some people believe that they can gain humility only when they deny the talents they possess. But friend, that's not humility. That is ignorance and foolishness. When we deny our abilities that God has given us, we deny the goodness of His grace And uh, we deny the giver of every good and perfect gift. Humility comes from a proper perspective about our God-given gifts and talents. We can admit, my friend, that we have talents, abilities, and intelligence, and still remain humble as long as we acknowledge that we've received all of these wonderful uh, gifts from God. Therefore, we don't take the glory, but instead we give thanks to God who is the source of our talents and ability and give him all the glory. We also thank him for our accomplishments. We shouldn't say, I can't brag about the talents I receive, but just look at what I've done with them. Again, we acknowledge that God works through us and that without Him, listen, without Him, we can do nothing whatsoever. The best thing that you and I can do is foster humility in our lives today and stop and thank God for giving you the abilities and for accomplishing His will and work in and through you. And friend, I pray for you today that you'll be able to give God all the glory and that you'll use your gifts and talents for him in a heart or with a heart of humility and submissive uh, attitude to his precious will. Yes, it's an important fact that you and I need to be humble. Too many times we see people brag and uh, boast about what they've done. But friend, we can't brag and boast except in the Lord. He's given us our talents and our gifts to use for his glory. And we must decrease that he may increase. 
And that's so important. Have that humble spirit and let God use the talents that he's blessed you with today. Pray with me. Father, we thank you for the power of this devotion that reminds us the uh, the importance of humility and help us always have an humble spirit, knowing and realizing what we're able to do only comes through the power and gifts of the Holy Ghost of God. Use our gifts for your glory, that Jesus may be glorified in all that we accomplish and do. In his precious name I pray, amen and amen. Well, friend, I do pray that you'll have an humble heart today and share Christ with others. Your life could be the only Bible some may ever see. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. God bless you, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.